Hello, my name is Suzanne and I'm here today with Martin Patella, the founder of Life Enthusiast. We would like to discuss with you the plight of the man who is hitting the wall. The young man who is somewhere in his late 20s or early to mid 30s, even his early 40s, it takes some of us longer to get there, um, who are just finding that they're starting to run out of that energy, that vitality and the ability to keep up with all of the things they want to be doing in their lives. So I'm here to talk with Martin about all of the insights that he can share to help keep this man and this profile feeling vital and having the strength to do all of the things he wants to do. Welcome, Martin. Hey, thank you, Suzanne. As you can tell, I'm now in my 64th year. I remember quite, uh, quite vividly when I was in my 20s, I felt bulletproof. I felt immortal. I felt the unbounded energy. I could do almost anything. Life was boundless. And then, come 35, I found that there were limitations. I did. And actually, yeah. my limitations were so strong that I ended up having to uh, end my career in the uh, information technology. And uh, I ended up being a health coach because I, I was so broken that I needed to devote myself full time to figuring out what was breaking me and how to fix myself because I was not getting the help at the mainstream medical field, nor was I getting it with the alternative like naturopaths and chiropractors. I was getting maintenance. I was getting coping with, but I was not getting better. Right. See, I am out in the world meeting with men that I dance with or work with or go on dates with, and they are telling me that they are experiencing things like headaches and fatigue and brain fog, that they're getting blurry vision or dizziness, getting back and joint pain, and finding that they're having a lot slower recovery and easier injury happening for them. Um, and some are also experiencing digestive issues as well as skin rashes, and some also having sexual dysfunction issues. So they're they're quite distressed by some of these things, more some than others you can imagine. But it's still unsettling when you start to feel like your body is starting to break down. So if I've had, they know that I work in this field as well, and so they've asked me things like, "Well, what can I do? How do I?" stop my body from hurting, what can I do to improve my diet and all of these things. But today we're going to talk specifically about zoatine, zeolite, and advancium. Tell us about those things and what they can do for the young man experiencing these issues. Well, to explain, what happens is that by about 27, and it may be sooner these days, mm -hmm. uh, we run out of the reserve of the growth hormones that we have through puberty, when, it, when we launch, we grow. Like the body has, it starts from tiny and it, the, the growth rate is really steep in the first year and that slowly starts slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. By the time you're about 24, you level off. That's the end of the growth phase. Yeah. And then we're adults and we're hoping to cruise at level, but that seldom, seldom really works out. We start to decline. The underlying situation then is lack of enzymes, which we have just run out of. And uh, the other issue is inflammation that's rising. The inflammation is your body's response to an injury. Normally, normally the inflammation is a perfectly useful function. Like if, for instance, I whack myself on my thumb, the first thing I notice is that it swells and it's going to hurt. Well, there are four symptoms to inflammation. Redness, heat, pain, and swelling. If the injury is immediate and visible and physical, Mm -hmm. The body just goes to action, sends all the repair crew in, rebuilds the tissue, and everything's fine. Yeah. But if you have a micro-injury that's happening system-wide, such as 
you have a confused uh, immune system or we have a leaky gut that's causing unwanted uh, bits of food getting into circulation. We're causing now micro injuries. It's sort of like a small hit with the hammer, but repeat all the time. And in multiple sites in the body at the same time. Everywhere. Yeah. So when this is happening, the body goes into this, uh, I don't know what to fix first. It tries to fix everything. Mm -hmm. so let's just say that you overdo it with exercise. You overextend. You yeah, hurt. You had a really hard working leg day at the gym or tried to go really all out and did full body day in one go because you were trying to make up for a missed week at the gym. Right. So anyway, the next thing that happens is that you have created micro tears in your muscles. They are micro injuries. And now your body has to repair all of it and you hurt. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you're really young, you fix it overnight. When you're not as young, you fix it in two days, maybe three. And when your reserves of this repair capacity goes down, it may take you several days. Mm -hmm. And that's the main difference between a young, able-bodied person and an older person in decline. And this is right. probably the reason why uh, top athletes don't last too much past their early 30s. Like by 29, their repair capacity has gone away or has, has declined. By 36, only exceptional guys are still at the peak of the sport and very, very few last into their 40s. But okay. if they discover what is fixing this, they will do much better. Mm -hmm. So what is that? So we're talking about now proteolytic systemic enzymes. There are two types of enzymes in general classification. The digestive ones that help you digest the food mm -hmm. and the systemic ones that help you repair the uh, body tissues. There are thousands of different enzymes specialized ones. There's an enzyme that takes calcium out of the bone. There's a different enzyme that puts calcium back into the bone there and so on. Why would I want to have something like a superfood blend in my repertoire? Yeah. The reason is this. You need to ingest enzymes that are going to repair the injuries that you cause, whether they have been created short term with an overwork or long term with uh, just living too hard. And you need to have nutrients from which you build new tissues. The building blocks in the body are amino acids. The amino acids are individual components from which proteins are built. So when you ingest a protein, whether it's of plant origin or animal origin, your body or digestive system has to first take it apart. Once it's taken apart into its individual components, the amino acids, your body can reassemble it in its own image back into what it needs. So mm -hmm. if you ingest something that your body doesn't disassemble correctly, let's just say that you're allergic to peanuts, you eat peanuts, the peanut protein causes you an allergic reaction because your body doesn't know how to take it apart. So now that we understand it, we can insert into the body the building blocks that are healthy that are capable of supporting you in restoring yourself quicker. So a teen is heavily into protein. So it would, be, it would be a foundational food that would primarily help you uh, lose weight and restore healthy tissue and convert fat into protein. If it's targeting work with muscles, it's probably more ideal for somebody who works out a lot is an athlete or is working in a physical sort of a job, right? Yes, definitely, or is overweight. Advancium is more a um, brain food type of a product. So if you are experiencing the brain fog issues or if you can't recall things as well as you used to or if you're just not keeping up with the young ones anymore, you would want mm -hmm. to be taking that because it feeds all of the necessary nutrients that your body needs in order to um, 
feed your brain. But it's not just brain, it's energy. Your brain is the biggest consumer of energy in your body. 80% of all the glucose that you create is consumed by your brain. Right. So we need to feed you right or else you can't think right. Yes. So that would be the for the guys who are working in an office job or, um, for example, a lawyer or somebody who is managing policies and hits that afternoon slump way too hard, just feeling exhausted and like they're dragging their butt through work every day. That's exactly the right application. And the, the Advancium actually is a powder. Take a spoonful of that, put it into either a glass of water or some juice, mix it up either with a fork or with a shaker, and you drink it. You sip it up. And uh, 20 minutes later, somebody turned on the lights again. And zoetine is also a powder, or what form does it come in? Yeah, the zoetine is also a powder. There's way more protein in it, but it's a similar idea. It can also replace a meal. It, it really has saved many bachelors' bacon, so to speak, because <laughs> when you don't have the time or the inclination to make a meal, you can just take a tablespoon of zoetine, stir it up, drink it up, and you can go for three hours. There's enough nutrient and energy in that thing to keep you going. So it could make a good breakfast um, or an addition to a small lunch if you're too busy on the go. Perfect. So zeolite is something that I used a lot of when I was trying to overcome the heavy metal toxicity that I had picked up. I got toxic load, overload of mercury, and it really caused me all sorts of troubles. So anybody who's working in the industry, uh, working with metals, inhaling urban air, the brake pads in cars are made of metals they wear. You're mm -hmm. inhaling the brake pad dust as you're driving. So we're talking to welders, heavy equipment mechanics, mechanics, plumbers, the young urbanite living in the city, breathing in the fumes of all of the traffic going by, and the guy who has the mercury fillings, or parents with the mercury fillings. Exactly. So all of it. I don't yeah. know of anybody in this society living in a city watching this that wouldn't benefit from running a course of zeolite detox. Zeolite is a volcanic material. Once it's milled fine enough into particles that are small enough to penetrate into the bloodstream, mm -hmm. it can encounter the heavy metals wherever they have been deposited. Your body shuttles it out of circulation, deposits it in fat, cartilage, disc, lig ligament, and bone. So the worst of it is the fat, because mm -hmm. your brain is made of fat. Right. But anyway, if it's in the bone, if you are going to experience anything like osteoporosis later in life, you will release the stored heavy metals back into circulation, which means, well, you see it in older people. You think it's just osteoporosis, or you think it's just confusion. Well it is one coming together with the other. As you're dissolving the bone, you're actually recirculating the deposited toxins back into circulation and causing terrible stuff. Anyway, heavy metals, they cause you brain damage yeah. and uh, sensory damage. You just can't, uh, I don't know, maybe you can tell me what that feels like. Well, crippling levels of brain fog and fatigue. So, uh, like, the idea of getting out of bed in the morning is just enough to make you want to pull the covers over your head and stay there. Um, dealing with sometimes having, like, fine motor skills, like you find your fingers are fumblier and not able to do the fine, detailed work that they were once doing easily. Um, struggling to remember things starting to get the muscle and joint ache sort of symptoms happening in stronger measure, especially things like low back and like with carpenters, it's usually hips, low back and knees and, and probably plumbers as well. Like the guys that are getting up and down all day long, working on stuff, bending and lifting and 
just rough on a body. And yeah. I realize that we're saying this mostly to men, but there are definitely trades women. Let's not ignore them. They are definitely just as important, and they will absolutely benefit from the same program as well, right? Actually, uh, you know, one of the one of the ways the heavy metal toxicity uh, shows up is in collapsing structures. So carpal tunnel syndrome, the yes. sore wrists, yes. that is heavy metal caused. Mm -hmm. uh, plantar fasciitis, the collapsing structure of the feet, I actually yes. had that. And then you, you're uh, mentioning the back issue, I had mm -hmm. that with AIDS. Uh, so lower back problems, you know, shooting pain down into the legs and such, can't lift yes. anymore. And yeah. then if, if it happens in the neck, you start getting migraines and issues of the head. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, so that those are the symptoms of heavy metal disrupting your body's ability to maintain its tissues correctly. The tissues are the ligaments, tendons, discs, and so on. So your, your structurally, structural integrity is declining. Yes. So when you take these toxins out, your body naturally starts repairing itself. So what would a run of zeolite look like? How, like what sort of dose or duration? We have it available either in liquid, mm -hmm. which is mixed with humic and fulvic acid, or we have it in capsules. Those are also formulated either with uh, humic acid or we have it with vitamin B12. Mm -hmm. Or finally, we have it in just plain powder. You get okay. the most for your money using the plain powder, but it's the least easy to work with. If you're making daily smoothies, you can probably work with the powder because you just throw it in. Or you can mix it into anything other like, say, yogurt or cereal or salad. It's just powdery stuff, so it's not a problem to get it in. Capsules are nice and convenient, and the liquid is just the easiest thing. You can just put it into any, any fluid and drink. Yeah. Drop it under your tongue, face it with a drink of water, or add it to your drinking water and sip away at it all day. That's correct. That's the way to do it. And how long would you expect to be doing that for to feel like you're getting some benefit from it? Um, well, myself, to this day, I take a small amount of it every day. So okay. in my case, it's one capsule a day. And it's a 90 capsule bottle, so a, bo a bottle lasts me three months these days. Uh, right. When I was doing my active uh, detox, I was using three bottles a month, maybe four. I was pushing it. So I would recommend that you can expect to do maybe six to 12 bottles in a fast succession and then slow down to maintenance. I, I would run it by symptoms, right? When symptoms go away, yeah. I think I've got it taken care of. How about the zoatine and adrantium? What sort of dosage would somebody want to be doing with those? Um, the bottles are sized in such that the adrantium would last about a month. Mm -hmm. uh, the zoatine, if you're using it as a meal, meal replacement, the bottle will last you two weeks. If you're using it as a supplement, it'll last one month. In an ideal world, you would have zoatine for breakfast and uh, adrantium for afternoon fix me up, pick me up. Yeah, and instead of a cup of coffee, grab a scoop of Advantium? Yes, that's correct. So we might not be 24, immortal, and bulletproof anymore, but that doesn't mean we have to live like it. We can still nourish our bodies and our cells with all of the nutrients that they need and all of the proteins and enzymes that can help them to be their fullest living vital selves. Any final words, Martin? I'd love to hear from you. I'm available to you for an initial consultation. You can reach me by phone at 1-866-543-3388 or at the website, go read something, uh, life-enthusiast.com. That's E-N-T-H-U-S-I-A-S-T, just in case you wondered. Thank you very much for uh, spending your time learning.